Hello and welcome back to the PPE Community Cup. I am joined now in cast by Dan, the analyst man. Hey, Dan. I know. I'm upgraded, mate. Yeah, you leveled up. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, as per usual, just in case this is your first time joining us, I'm going to quickly duck through the uh, the little system we got going. We got a band protect system. Each team, before they play out their matches, they can choose. Or well, they go through a process of choosing one of any of these three following options. They can either A, ban two enemy heroes, B, ban one enemy hero and protect one hero for their own team, or C, protect two heroes for their own team. Protecting means that if the enemy team bans that the hero you've protected, obviously it's not banned. Anyway, this, uh, this system has already been played out. Mr. Dan, would you like to do the honours? What team has banned what? Yeah, so it. the Cardinals have banned the Doom and protected the Doom. So the Jandas therefore cannot play the um, and the Cardinals uh, can't play the Lucio from the the band of the Janitors. So no Lucio and no Doomfist. I'm going to be interested uh, regarding the Doomfist, but the Lucio it makes a lot of sense currently right now. Uh, yeah, definitely. The Doomfist is uh, interesting. I guess the Janitors really uh, believe in the. Uh, I mean. Cardinals rather really believe in the uh, the Doomfist. Hmm. So maybe that I mean, if they can make it work, out. yeah, if they make yeah. it work, then I mean, hell, I'm all up for seeing that. Some Doomfist action. I'm a fan. I like Doomfist. It's just cool character. I like the the design based off Street Fighter, and who doesn't like a little bit of Street Fighter? Yeah, most definitely. Well, look, I didn't I didn't used to like Doomfist. He used to be a little little broken, but now he's a bit more adjusted, more balanced. So if they found a way to work. Uh, wind him into the meta i mean not that uh this tournament really allows for a defined meta due to the band protect system but if they manage if they found a way to wiggle them on in there into a strong team composition then all the power uh, to hey. them yeah, yeah exactly ready for battle so on the defense we've got the cardinal gonna roll out with the uh, ryan diva I'm interested uh, with the with the diva pick, but we'll kind of see how that works. There we go. They got the Doomfist. Rock, rock on the Doomfist. And then on the opposite side, looking for th hey some goats. Some goats by by the janitors. How do you feel about the goats oh, here? Oh well, look, I have played against. The janitors at RF land, the biggest the biggest uh, land in Australia. It's held in Perth, which should be surprising, you know. Here, the biggest land is actually in Perth because there's a bit of a ghost town here. But I played against their goats, and I tell you what, it is actually quite powerful, uh, if I do say so myself. Uh, they came second in the tournament, the 6v6 Overwatch tournament at RF land. So we'll see if they can pull out a first place here in the PPE Community Cup. Press is in Press, a good spot yeah. here. We're gonna get the hack. Ooh, would have been much better to get it on the Reinhardt, that's for sure. Yeah, most certainly, most certainly. But, you know, he's putting up his uh, AMP ever so slowly. Yeah, well, the GOAT's composition from Janitors is doing what they do. They're, they're huddling up. The payload is moving. Now Rock moving in and he's found Wally. The Zen Yada is down for the side of Janitors. A beautiful anti net onto Poe on that Diva. She's almost demeked, and there you have it. The Diva's out of mech as well, so right now the GOAT's composition... Working to a dream, really. And it feels like the engagement of Cardinals was just a bit too slow, but here they've soft, uh, soft reset here. Hopefully that they can get the Reinhardt back before they start going in. But here goes the Doomfist. Ooh. Punch and gets knocked down. Yeah, a beautiful stun coming out from the Brigant. But the Reinhardt is now the boost and a huge shout out to his name as well. Picks up the pin, going for the swings. A counter pin from Dank Knight, beautifully done. The bubble is there to protect him as well. So Reinhardt is down. The anti name from Hello on the Anna is there, but unfortunately there's no follow up. So it looks like Janitors are just going to steamroll through. Excellently play, excellent play of the GOAT's composition, doing what they must. Playing slow and steady and playing for that counter initiation while the payload is just moving effectively uncontested. Yeah, it, I mean, we got to really see how they got to got to be capitalizing off this Doomfist, knocking someone back, trying to get a good hack. Because the really like the be all and end all play really is around that Sombra. But there goes Doomfist. Yep. The GOAT's composition just steamrolling through. They have Poe, the Divas just sitting on the payload, and I'm the hype. The Reinhardt really needs to be careful. So they really are 
pushing the limits of goats, you know, pushing the advantage, getting the picks, and then moving up when they get them. If they get them, unfortunately they did, against the rock. The Doomfist that they banned and protected. Not started paying off here. No, not yet, but the... Here's a... EMP oh, Diva Bomb, and it picks up two! Marker! A great way to initiate a fight, and that's effectively all you need. That's all she wrote. For this fight, anyway. Two ultimates, and bam. You win a fight just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Excellently executed. However, like on the other side, Whip Me and Poe, they've got the Grab Diva Bomb combo, and there's not a whole lot to really stop with. Uh, especially with no Zarya bubbles here. But look it's at the position. Really on their team's positioning, most yeah. definitely. Looks like Kras. Does, he doesn't have the MP, but he's looking for the hack. Doesn't get it. Beautifully done by Wally. Interrupting the hack. The reaction speed was there. I'm the hype. Perhaps playing a little bit too close. Goes for the shatter, but unfortunately misses. The beat comes out. The side of janitors, but they don't get too much for it. The Graviton Surge is just thrown on top of the servo for nothing. You won't be getting a slab with that one, mate. I can tell you that. <laughs> Doofus. Managed this to get the ultimate very to get spread away. out. It is. Wally actually doing a lot of work there with the Coalescence, and it looks like it's just the Reinhardt. I'm the hype. <laughs> yeah. We saw Fine. that Wally used his um, Coalescence just to solo fight uh, the Zen and Tilo just on the rafters on the top right and kind of assisted in pushing the team forward through that. Yeah, well, look, it it, it bloody worked. <laughs> it, one, it, yeah, well, one face left. Fight, almost, effectively. He, he split up the fight. As you said, the fight was very split, but they really didn't have anything to do with him. They didn't have the CC. The Doomfist didn't land the punch to cancel the ultimate. So he got it off, and the payload's still moving forward. They're still on the GOAT's composition. On the Zarya. There we have it. The bomb it's coming in. Do they have initiate. an EMP? No. Dank Knight looking for the Shatter. He gets the pin onto Rock, but the Transcendence is there. Not quite, actually. He wasn't actually on the Zarya, so she didn't get the healing. Zarya down, but a big oh. EMP with the Shatter to follow. That's what they need, but they're not really picking up enough kills. And never mind, as I say that, they do just that. Whip me. All right. That's get whipped. Oh, no, what? Oh, what are you no. doing? Oh, Throwing that's away costly. the events that they had. And, they and look at the Whip me. Just push him forward. He's got the grab. He's really just got to make sure he doesn't get it eaten here. Let's see if and they can push them back and create that space for their team. Well, they really are. He doesn't really have anything to combo with it, but he could help Dank Knight build up a very, very fast shadow. Needs to make sure that it's not eaten. The One Diva. fight here. That's all they need. Diva posturing up. He saw that they used the Matrix. He knows the Matrix is down. The grab is out. The Big Reinhardt charge. is in. He's almost built up the shadow already, thanks to the thanks to the ultimate. The Diva Bomb. Nicely protected by Dank Knight. The shield is there. Tilio's down. Kraz is down too. And there you have it. The tank composition will manage to pick up all three points of this map. Now moving into the second round. Janet yeah. is going to be going on to the defense. Cardinals need to adjust themselves a little bit more disciplined, perhaps, with their... With their... Uh, Look, you're the analyst, man. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it feels like that the Cardinals, they're forcing... This Sombra Doomfist is interesting. I am not seeing a whole lot of... Uh, Thinking up between that Sombra and getting high value hacks. I haven't really seen those high value hacks or the Doomfist getting those picks or knocking someone around to then kind of group up and mug them, sort of thing. Yeah, the Doomfist, I definitely haven't seen the value uh, personally. I saw it in that very first fight. I was like, ooh, they're actually using the Doomfist quite well. They immediately picked up the Zenyatta and he got out straight away. But I don't think anything like that's really happened since then. So yeah. I'd like to I mean, see him swap off it. He does, I think. Maybe, no, never mind, he hasn't picked it. Could it's interesting, just because I don't see, like, the Doomfist is very difficult to make him work on second and third phase of the map. On the first, uh, defense on the Earls, um, it makes a lot of sense because the uppercut height, it kind of works well with there, but the second and third phase, eh, the uppercut height, there's just too much high ground that he doesn't get that height to be able to pair up and go in and out of the fight as yeah, easy. Yeah, so his movement's inhibited as a result. Sort of thing. But oh, we have a Farah. Uh, defensive Farah as well. Quad DPS with a with a hammer, a good old ball. Hmm. Let's see if we sure can get those angles. Ooh, oh, big shot by Whitme. Oh, another one as well. Three. Another one. Can we get a fourth? Whitme. Quickly, lay, lash Ooh. up to the sky. Jump. Is he typing in chat? Oh, dude, Antilio. Uh, 
And two we have. He doesn't go for the half. He's looking for the kill. Oh, he re he actually gave respect to the Widowmaker there. And look at the Mercy charge. Hemi having 34. So done a lot of good of damage boosting on the right targets there. With the um, on the Mercy, the Fire, and to as well as the Ash, and kind of getting assisting those picks. Yeah, and with me already up to 60%. Just three heads, and that's all you that's all you need to get up to 60% all charge. And again, really showing. A dominant performance on this Widowmaker so far. And the yeah. quad DPS is working. They can't they they aren't posturing themselves to get themselves in a position where they can actually close the gap between this Widowmaker. Look at the Widowmaker and the Ash, they'll just sit on the um that archway bar like a shooting gallery, just no waiting for them to kind of pop their heads out. Yeah, the I mean the position you don't together. really expect. You don't expect it, so a little bit hard to deal with on the first push, maybe. The second push, maybe, as well. But at this point, they should be coming up with a strategy to overcome it. And Kraz might just be that strategy. He's found Panda. Can they get the res? Yep, Hemi going for it. Doesn't get punished. The Discord was there, but unfortunately, they couldn't get the follow-up. Kraz jumping across, looking for it. And there you go. Hemi is down. No healer on your team anymore. So All unless right. Whitney finds another 10 million picks. Let's see what Wally can do in the background while they try and reset. Wally and Dank Knight just kind of have to kind of spread out and see if they can kind of rejoin up onto the same target. Wally's going to be spending a lot of that spare time, but the Widow Sights is going to reveal Wally's position and going to make yeah. him play lots more scared around these corners. Wally's well, just coming back up to that uh, her E. Good engage Dank Knight. with the uh, uh, Hammond Mines to split them up. Hemi's popped the Valkyrie, so they're committing to this fight. And the, the DPS have already made sure they're going to win it. The picks are there. Dank Knight's picked up two. And Whitney's picked up two. And Trace is doing all the rest of the work in between. The damage. I mean, a really dominant performance right now by the Janitors on this DPS composition. They, You can tell that these players are confident by their positioning. I mean, you wouldn't see this by almost any other team, I'd want to say. I would like this to close. see something like a McCree or even a Sombra to kind of help deal with the DPS and the Hammond to kind of lock them down a little bit more. Um, but we we'll see a big barrage by by Panda gets two and allows them to get the res on the Widow, creates the space, which is nice. Allows them to kind of set back up with Wally doing all the distractions in the back line there. Although that barrage was definitely worth it, me knowing the janitors on a more personal level, I want to say that that was more of just a, an ultimate deflex. I mean, if you're doing it right outside their spawn, although it is, it was, uh, or it did turn out to be an effective use of the ult, it looked like just a, a straight up flex to me. And that is what these, this team is doing. They're just styling right now. I mean, there's 35 seconds left, and look where the, the friggin' payload is. Yeah, it's hardly it moved. Around yeah. The Earls at all. No, haven't even there made it around Bob. the Bob, Bob, diving in, I am the hype, gets the pin, but I mean, you're not going to get in the old charge or anything, and Bob's certainly not going to die, he's a tanky man, and the DPS are just going full with Dank Knight, and they're getting the kills, and Tilio's used his uh, Transcendence, the Zen Yada, with a side of Cardinals, but they're not getting anything from it, all they're doing is keeping their Reinhardt alive. Well, the, the Cardinals have Valk Blade here, if they can... They oh, also have four seconds on the clock, so they're probably not going to be able to use any of it. Rock finally pulls out the blade, but unfortunately goes for the fire instead of the payload. So Janitor's a very convincing first map from the men. Yeah, they most certainly. I mean, can you can't put a fault to the Janitor's. They executed it well. And there goes, I mean, there's Whitme. Most probably at the start of the play of the game, if wouldn't yeah. be surprised. Oh, here we go. The three shots. One. One. A single death can take Two. Two. Three. Three. And um, mm. we didn't get a fourth quite. But, Juicy. You know, I mean, that play of the game was pretty much a replay of the entire match, if I say so myself. That's uh, pretty much just happened repeatedly. And then with the other DPS getting kills there and there, here and there, and Dank Knight as well going in uh, pretty textbook, honestly, every single time. I didn't, I didn't see the man overextend a single time, at least. And with Just a Mercy yeah. as a healer, I mean, you got to be doing something right, that's for sure. Yeah, and it's really, the onus is really on the Cardinals to try and put a stop to that, whether, as I said, like the McCree or Sombra, or even a Brig, just to assist yeah, in, lock down definitely. that Hammond, um, to at least deal with that one issue. Yes, because the Farah, um, 
the Widow and the Ash, they are big problems, but they've got that middle train, which does uh, obstruct their sight line a bit. And so trying to deal with that Hammond may have been a priority, which they could have, or an option which they could have looked to go forward for that fight. But hey, I mean, they're, they're in the game. We'll see what they do for this following following game. Hollywood. Yeah, they, they definitely did better against the Goats. I mean... They didn't cap with too much time left in the bank. They definitely uh, capped it confidently, Janitor, so at the end of the last map. But the quad DPS comp, you definitely saw it uh, flustered them, I want to say. They, they they couldn't really get their heads straight and think of possible solutions like the Brig. Yeah. Uh, I mean, which I think would have been an excellent choice considering the, the, uh, the effect or the pressure that the Ball and Tracer were making the space for their Widow to get the picks that she was. And if anything... Uh... From kind of watching the Overwatch League, just the general counter to that quad DPS really is just running your standard dive. I mean, they can't run the Lucio, which does hurt that, like, Ana Lucio with the dive comp, but uh, they could have made some variation where they want to run the Ana Mercy um, to kind of pocket the Genji, make him those blades a bit quicker. Could have been a possible solution as well. You say it could have been a possible Lucio? Yeah. Because they, they Cardinals cannot play Lucio. It possible solution. Bad. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you, cut out, <laughs> you cut out a little bit there, so I didn't... I My just bad. Heard Luch. That's all I heard. All right, well, it looks like they're ready for the next one, Hollywood. Yeah. It's a Goats map. Yep, it's <laughs> exactly what I was <laughs> about to say. Go, goats orientated map, but I mean, with how dominant... Uh, janitors were maybe they maybe they feel like they can just do quad dps again i mean i can tell you it looked like they were having fun with it so if they i wouldn't be it, surprised if they run the quad dps in the second phase if they wanted to kind of have a little like explore the the fun side of the game yep. but if they want to go you know uh, go for the win i mean can't goats. go wrong with goats at yeah, this current stage really with can't. that that lucio you know they can um, run that lucio so yeah does create a few good opportunities. But you know they can't play Doomfist, which I think is really going to hurt their game. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, just a joke, guys. I, I'm not a big fan of the Doomfist ban. I, uh, considering his pick rate is probably uh, about, like, a less of a percentage than the length of a ruler in centimeters, you know, it's... And it's not high for a reason, because in team play, it's... He is easily countered. If you have a good McCree or a good Rick, you can do a lot of those bashes to kind of stop those punch play. And with the nerf to his um, A or that slam, which kind of creates the cone, that kind of forced him to be into a right click uh, sort of doom fist, and that's countered by those uh, McCrees and Briggs. Yep, well, here we are. The match has started, and as we expected, it is the GOATS composition coming out from Janitors. And on the defensive side, I am the Hype has decided to pick the Horse Lady. The Diva as well to back him up. They Double also have. good here. Yeah, but I tell you what, they don't have. They don't have any defensive ultimates, which mm. could cost them against the Ghost Comp, especially. They won't have the, the sustain of a transcendence or anything of the they like. A but a huge nade. anti nade! The bubble Custom from Whitney is going to be. Panda or, doesn't fall actually for it. Oh, he does. Marker just picking up the frag at the end. Point is starting to tick up though. Wally is somehow in the cafe and gets out alive. Looks like the Ghost Composition though coming out on top eventually. Slowly but surely is the way with goats, and that is how they played it and how they won it. And now the point is just going to tick up, and any kills they get from here on out are just going to be staggers. Yeah, really questionable play by the Anna in throwing, jumping off and throwing the nade, but it did allow them to get a pick. However, they just reset it for this next phase. So you know, going in, uh, trying to die as quickly as possible may have been their plan. Wally. <laughs> Just flexing, Ooh. just flexing on the enemy's Zen right now. But the res is there, classic. A nice swap to the Winston here allows them to control the high ground, which is really vital for this um, map, and also being able to deal with the Farah. Yeah, Winston, uh, Winston Diva Goats, definitely a popular variation, especially in this new meta. Winston's even more stronger because he does more damage against the the armor of the. Uh, the typical tanks you'd see in a GOATS composition, so he's a little bit stronger now, but unfortunately he did overextend, and that leads to it being a 5v6 with no main tank. Reset. Yeah. The discipline on Janitor's really nice to see here. But Dank Knight is back, and he's looking to take the high ground. He's in. 
Still has the bubble. He's required to use it. He has the bubble from Mazaria as well. Ho is on the opposing high ground. Actually managed really to take big out pick. The Diva Bomb is there as well, but uh, I, I think he forgot to press shift there, I'll be honest. The boost is worth like it. The Dank Knight oh. creating room in the back line. Poe is getting these picks on, creating the space for Dank Knight to finally hard engage on the back line. Take full advantage of the picks they picked up throughout that fight. Poe especially doing a great job. I mean, we're going to ignore that uh, that Diva Bomb Poe, but you know what? Everyone I makes mean, mistakes. So. Are they going to be able to contest? I don't think they're going to be able to contest here. No, Winston's going to create a big run. out all six of them. This is, could be a good time for uh, Janitors to really just kind of build some more ults. Yeah, Even I know. They've already got five. Jumping a little bit low. Dank deciding to prop the Palmer Rage and trying to pick up the Mercy. Will he be able to do it as well? Yes, he will. So he's picked up one support. And his eyes are moving over to the McCree. Besides, it's not worth it, though. Just going to take out the Reinhardt instead. And look, that Reinhardt is not going to get anything done. One ult. Created the space and allows him to freely push the cart. And, you know, that's great value by the Janners here. And it's, now it's kind of up to the Cardinals to kind of see what ults they're going to be using. I would like to see them to try and... Like, they've got to really use that Barrage or the High Noon to kind of make that base. Where, or they need to be looking to use the Diva Bomb with the Shatter here. Maybe as an optional pairing as well. Yeah, but on the other side, Janitors, they have a grab themselves. And Poe almost has the Diva Bomb. So that's probably the combo they're looking for next. High Noon coming out. They do pop the Transcendence to allow them to push forward. But unfortunately, Dank Knight oversteps his bounds. Oh, a big Shatter coming out. And the grab came out as well. So Rock, thankfully, following up with that beautiful Shatter from Iron the Hype. And they actually managed to waste the grab of Janitors. Five volts and five volts. So, I mean, it was a bit of a... Q spam or whatever button you have your ult on, but I'd say it's definitely worthwhile though. I think the the uh, they need to stop the momentum fights, here. Yeah, the re-establishing fights are crucial, especially against a, a composition like Goats. And they still have the transcendence. Poe has the bomb, but without a uh, without a graviton surge to throw it in, it's gonna be pretty hard pressed to find the kills. But Kraz, caught alone. Diva Bomb right making the space. The Reinhardt shield did block it, and Antilio unfortunately gets the transcendence out just a millisecond too late. The Mercy's on the cart and it's dropping low. She's dead. Rock Dank is Knight back on the doofus. <laughs> He's just swinging. swinging. He's just swinging for the boys, and that's all you really need to do in this situation. There you have it. They cut the point with what? Three three minutes on the clock? I think so. I can't quite see a mic. Uh, my screen oh. for some reason, but we'll see. No, we, we just cannot see because the round is over. But we'll see now. Yeah! A bit awesome. over three minutes. So, uh, it's really like... It's good to see that the Janders knowing how to execute their comp. You know, they are playing um, whether they... You know, they have that same that game plan. They initially started off with the Reinhardt. Second phase go to the Winston. Third phase go to the Reinhardt. So, you know, they have, they're making those swaps really nice and quick and not staying on the old comp uh, too long, which allows them to uh, obviously go into that next fight with maybe a game plan. Yeah. The largest difference we're seeing between this series and the last series we watched uh, is the discipline by Janitors. Last game, you know, was, or last series rather, was more so just whichever DPS popped off, which we mentioned heavily and commented on heavily throughout the last series, but this time it really is Janitors using their discipline and their cohesion to make these quick decisions that really benefit both their alt economy and the time that, like, the effective use of their time bank. They're not wasting any time whatsoever. So here we have Whip Me. I mean, I'm not surprised him on being on the Widow with him popping off in the last, uh, last game of Route 66. But... I'd like to, like, I do like the Orisa comp, and we'd usually see the Orisa drop down first to contest the point. So we'll see how they kind of pair up and doing the contesting of the point against whatever comp. Well, Aren't uh, they running? Symmetra? Yeah, Cardinals, Symmetra. Rock has decided Doomfist isn't the pick. They should have banned and protected the Symmetra. Is the choice they've gone for. Or are they just inting? I am currently not aware. I am flabbergasted. I... I... Whip me has has managed to find a kill. I am the hype is just as confused as Rock likely is. Uh, 
We could just be seeing some classic OC competitive right now. I'm honestly not too sure. One team has a little bit of a cry after losing. But I don't want to speak too soon. We give the lads some time. If they are going to huff and puff, we might just end the series early. Because it's Maybe not really acceptable behaviour. Trying to confuse the Janders and allow the Sombra to get behind. <laughs> <laughs> Next level? Perhaps. I think they just need it. Maybe they're just wasting time, you know, banging their heads together, braining up a storm. Possibly. Deciding what, yeah, just waiting perhaps to see what composition the enemies had without uh, giving them any this, old charge whatsoever. This Reinhardt's not going to have his shield at all for this fight. He doesn't move quick yeah. enough without the Lucio and him. And look. It's like I create the space. Oh. The Anna just jumps on through. He's lucky. I guess, I guess Whitney was dead. He probably identified that, but I'm the hype. His shield's gonna run out really quickly over there. And Antilia, the Zendata for the side of Cardinals is already down. They're on the point, but they're losing members one by one. They're already two down. And hello is the next target, Poe. Finds him with the help of Whitney. Oh, I managed to find Danklight in the back line, but look. It's all I familiar. can't... I love Whitney's name. It, like, you can... It just almost reminds me of a Britney Spears song. You know, hit me baby <laughs> one more time. <laughs> That used to be my jam, man. <laughs> because, uh, like, here's laying it into them, and we don't see the cohesion with um, with the Cardinals. They don't really know where they want to start to move or how they want to execute on to this uh, defense by the janitors here. Yeah. Look, his name's Whitney, but he's the one doing all the whipping, so... A little bit confusing, a little bit of a... Uh, antipodal name. Hmm. So here they are, trying to go around the back line, or the back of the house. Well, again, he's trapped, so... And he's not going to be able to get over with the rest of his team. The uh, Wally and Poe on the high ground, Zen and the Diva, making sure that's not going to happen. Poe just yeah. scouting. I really like Poe being up there. He ha can have the Harmony Orb, and it just allows him to freely scout where they're moving. What oh, the angle. Just manages to peek over the shield of I'm the Hype, and Whitney has picked up two already. So already, it's probably a lost fight. To the side of Cardinals, the bomb throw is, is thrown, but uh, nothing for it. Just a waste of an ultimate, really. No thought, no brain power activated behind that ult. Just, just thrown out a bit of a Hail Mary, and they need to reset. They probably only get one more good fight. I'd agree. And look at the janitors. They're making sure, they're doing their darndest to reduce that to zero fights. I like only the push out seconds. here. Just deny them the space and make it hard for them to move around and through. Transcendence was used, but you can't protect Rock from death. You aren't playing Baptist because he has, or Baptize rather, Baptiste. I still don't, I don't know how to pronounce the name Baptiste. yet. Baptiste. Baptiste. You don't have a Baptiste. You can't prevent heads from being clicked. Transcendence cannot heal more than your health pool in one shot. And Dank Knight just flexing those muscles at the, no the pearly way. gates of Cardinal Spawn, but oh no. <laughs> The they payload! Right in front. Chris! He's on the point and he's actually gonna get the t Oh no, are they gonna do what I think they're gonna do? Nah, oh, Wally just denies him that kill on Rock. Rock Look. couldn't get anything from that. The payload's but still going though. The hack is there, the MP and Dillion and the Tracer. Battle Tracer Mercy. Doing his best. Oh no, nah, look, you know, he's not gonna win the 1v3 as much as I'd like to believe. Can he even stall for enough time? Oh no. Hello? Ha Oh, hello, had the nano boost. If Tracer peaked for the nano, he might have been able to sustain long enough. But a very convincing yet again. Second game from Janitors. Two full holds in a row, back to back. Just a dominant it... performance. Are we do, are we playing out the next map, or is that is that just straight up it? Tomorrow we play the we, I... do we play the last map. We would play the the last map, usually, yep. but I mean. What? It's really up to the Cardinals to see how they want to play this. Fun, looking for team. So it's up to the teams, I suppose. It's what you is what you're saying. The official word is. I think so. I'll kind of put it over to our over to our mod. See if they want to moderators fill us in on that. We call for your aid. We are but monkeys casting a video game. We require assistance.
I repeat. <laughs> Head moves. Dead silence. Welcome to Perth. <laughs> um, yeah, this, this dialogue is about as fast as my internet speeds. I know how you feel. Yeah, we're brothers in arms here. Yeah. Sorry, I have to get my phone out. I don't have a mic at the moment. Or cat, cat the last. So, what's the goal? Um, if they want to, con they want to continue. All right. Yeah. All right. So, I will put the question forth. No, I mean I'm just asking. Oh. Okay. All right, they're ready. No, that's that's from janitors. And Kraz says he's ready. So All right. both sides. All right, the ready is the call, and uh, we have Ooh. to change the map to Oasis. Yeah. The last one. Ooh. Well, perhaps uh, a uh, King of the Hill, a Koth map, will be what they need to bounce back, Cardinals. Yeah, we find Koth maps is so much about who can get that initial momentum for the first fights. But Jan is really executing well on the goats, makes that momentum. Uh, it's going to be hard to kind of build that. All right, well, we're ready to head back into the game. So whenever the moderators are ready, let's head back in in three, two, one. Three, two, one. Almost. There we hey. go. Magic. The magic of communication. So Welcome. on Koth maps, I actually. If they wanted to run the Doomfists, I think it's a lot better if you wanted to, just because the corridor is a lot closer, the points of engagement are closer, so the Doomfists can kind of appear around those corners and get those uh, punches off or um, get those like those uh, slams to kind of pair up. And on this one here with the high ground just being high enough for his uppercut, it's a viable option if they yeah. really favor that Doomfist. Wherever the Doomfist slams, they're likely going to hit a wall because of how many bloody walls are on this map. It's a very angular, very close quarters map. That's for sure. Four DPS, four DPS. The only difference is... The Sombra. The... Sombra and the Hanzo. Oh. Sombra trace the Hanzo. Well, the map has right. some verticality to it, so I definitely think I prefer the Hanzo here over a McCree. Yeah, I do as well. The Sombra, it's hard to get... No one really fights around their health packs as much. Maybe the one in the center, but... It does deal well with the ball, so... Maybe a possible good value here. Oh, Moro gets a great pick one. to start things off. I'm the hype needs to... Get out of here and not re-engage like that. With me has taken down the man. Dank Knight is pushing forward into the backline marker on the Soldier 76. Keeping his distance, but needs to be careful not to get his head clicked. And there you go. His head was clicked by Poe. Headshot. Yep. All around. Hanzo, ug, ug, shoot arrow at headshot height and wait till they walk into it, is what I say. That's what I do when I'm on Hanzo and Poe appears to have done the same. Dank Knight is in the spawn it's right cool. now, but he's hacked up! There you go, that's why we got a Sombra, boys! Big value, and they've got to move this nice and quickly, try and get that value here. Look at Poe, though. Oh, he's hacked, and there you go, he's dead. Another so the good overconfidence hack. really getting the best of oh, Janitors. They're trying to flex too hard, but alas, their baby boy muscles are not big enough yet. And Dank Knight swaps over to the Bastion. So dropping the, dropping the ball here. <laughs> Quite literally, as he drops into the pond. Oh no! The quad DPS composition, you know, you'd really think you could win a fight where you get two picks straight off the bat. But the quad DPS from Janitors. Well, it's not that quad, nice it's to... uh, five DPS. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Oh, Jesus. I All mean, right, Bastion is go. a good character in dealing with the Hammond because he would. The Hammond usually wants to try and create that space, but. He gets melted by the Bastion here. Dank Knight is ready to slay. Look at this man march forth into the spawn. But I hope he doesn't get hacked, that's for sure. It's outside the spawn door, sets up nicely. Yeah. I love it. I'm sure it. they can't hear him. No, never mind. They are wearing headsets. Uh, Rock doing his darndest to get that kill, and he actually does manage to pick it up. Doesn't really needs the healing and uses the dash to get away. 
Ho releases the dragon straight straight into the spawn and That allows Hemi to get the res onto Dank Knight here. Mark gonna be able to get the Pharah as well before she hits the ground. But Dank Knight on the Bastion because of the res! The boss bomb was missed on the Bastion! And the point just keeps on ticking up and it doesn't look like they're gonna have a sneaky back cap this time. So that is the first round over and done with. They even let uh, the ball come through because they know that he couldn't touch in time. Yeah, it's... Oh, it's rough if you're Cardinals right now. Yeah, I, I mean, right. you can't say it any... Can't... Like, there's no other way to really say it except... Ouch. I think there is. It's GG. They have called GG and they would like to abandon hope to avoid any further humiliation. I think they deserve that right as individuals personally, but we'll throw it to admins. We can force uh, them to play a very sad goal. game of Overwatch. <laughs> that's still <so> cool. <laughs> uh, entertainment still admirable. From their captain. They want to play it out. Alright, excellent. So it's up to the team captain? Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. So I got Farah <laughs> picked off. No Farah anymore. No. Poe has ended that man's life, that's for sure. Poe now moving onto the high ground. Let's be careful, Rock. Actually, doing a good job. Forcing him up the high ground with the help of the soldier. Does pick him up, I'm the hype. Forcing the Bastion away from this team. And will he be able to get the kill as well? Oh no. Not if you're playing like that. Could have just held the M1 key. But now is running off scared. But actually, they... yeah, maybe Cardinal. They, they get the res as well. They're coming back. Is it just me or Poe and Whip me swapped around roles? Uh, yes. Well, I oh, mean, there we go. they're still the now. same role, <laughs> really. They're just Poe's on his on his widow. That's all. Mm. There you go. Whip me's on. Whip me's on the widow. Or DPS. The there we go. Yeah, like they they're still taking they're starting to take it seriously again. I mean, they were flexing a little bit for a while. But Cardinals came back swinging in this second round. Perhaps I shouldn't have doubted them so much. There goes the sights. Allows them to see where they're coming from. Kraz actually the... defeats Whitme. And gets oh, Knight nice. Two well. picks. Excellent work. Should Molly. allow them to hold this point here. Ooh. Wally okay. actually manages to kill the Pharah? A Tracer winning the duel versus Pharah is definitely interesting. But Kraz! He's picking up really? his shots. He's landing them now. He's feeling confident. That's He's what we angry. like to see from a widow, you know. Just feel like that you own the Oof. own the server. So can I have the res? They have the res, don't they? Or have they already used? No, just oh, use res onto the fire here. So this mm, is the true. time for Janus to kind of push in, create, uh, take the space, and get a pick on the people who are a little bit lo left over to the side. And as we can yeah, see from the bowl, them. they're kind of ganging up on the bowl here on the outside. Yeah. And if they're not doing that, they're bullying the members on the point. But unfortunately, Poe isn't hitting the shots and the mercy to the pocket. Onto Marcus, Soldier 76. Allows him to pick up two. But it's not quite enough as Dank Knight and Whitney. Other cleanup crew for the side of Janitors right now. I believe that's actually part of why they've named themselves the Janitors, because they clean up. If I do Surprise remember correctly, it's the, the oranges of their name. My Perth boys. Uh, yeah, I'm the hype really needs to get out of here, but you see that play from Dank Knight! Ooh, so Predicted. low, so low, close. And interrupted it. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, nasty! Nice. Dank so this is a, So for this fight here, it's really looking up for the Cardinals. They really be looking for that blade here. Yeah. See if it gets one, gets one. And that's we'll all. We'll find a second. And... <laughs> Uh what's a stop to oh. that? He does. With me ready to ready to whip again? Pick on the right hand side? Or left hand side if you're the uh side of Cardinals. I'm the hype. Looking to fight Dank Knight. Mano a mano. 1v1. <laughs> he was cheated, however. Whip me. Takes him out. And now it begins the struggle to get out of spawn. I'm getting a sense of deja vu here. Not not too sure why. Yeah, uh, it's. Oh. I mean, it's where Janda's the strongest. Apparently, like. but looks like Carnal's approving that point to be otherwise. 
They're doing the investigating, and right now, the hypothesis is Cardinals can get out of spawn. Kiki Genji on the point. Just uh, Bob. hold the point off, so Bob can uh, continue contesting the point. And look, Panda has the blade. He has the mercy as well if he wants the damage boost. Hemming is in the Valkyrie form. But Two Wally picks, Pfizer. Three. So. That's pretty much all she rode. The blade's there. Just going to run into the cars. <laughs> get on your Panda. Get on your Janitors. A very, very strong showing. Cardinals tried their best and did have their moments of resourcefulness. And they did frag occasionally, but not consistently and deci as decisively as the yeah. janitors. And as a result, a swift 3 0 ensued. Very swift. Overall breakdown. Yeah, break it down. Just the ending Pfizer uh, for that they point there, as we can see. What? Ah. Oh. So, that's it, with Janders getting the 3-0, big win, and it's... That's, that's all! It adds up into their, um, into the next stage, is it? This is the last stage before it goes into semi-finals and uh, finals, so let's see if they can actually continue this momentum, and obviously, they've got some good play, uh, and that forward, they've got the good go got goats and they're playing it really well and they got the four dps so they've got all the um tools in their toolbox to really execute and kind of go for a long run in in this tournament yeah can, and we, I, can we do a 1v1 between casters for the stream <laughs> let's do okay. it you, we, we can admins is this permitted on the fields <laughs> sure. finish things up all right Ooh. All right. I know you're not supposed to have bias as a caster, but my boys, janitors, they're from my home city, like I've mentioned earlier. So I really do hope they at least make it to the semifinals. And then if they do, Look, that boy's the playing finals. on 90 ping at least. So no, yeah. it's, it's a hard but feeling. 90 ping is good, is good for me. I've never experienced anything. Under no, ping, what no. do you mean? That's that's the Perth experience, really. Yeah. We we get scuffed, you know what I mean. So, we'll set up the the lobby for this little caster one v one. So, uh, how how are we running this? Because there's there's three three casters currently here, unless there's a there's a hidden caster, a hidden talent. Uh, Not to my knowledge. Yeah. Ooh. So how do how do we want to set up the tournament bracket? But yeah, uh, you t you two play first, and then loser plays me. We could do that. We could do that. Yeah, and then whoever wins between those two, fight yeah. for first place. Excellent. Uh, let's do a uh, let's do a coin toss, boys. I'm gonna pull out a coin. Coin toss. Oh, uh, oh, Abby, pick heads or tails. Uh, tails. All right. Uh, let's see if you can hear the ASMR. Them. All right, you hear that? Did you hear it? Beautiful. I flipped it. It is heads. Oh, head. excellent. So, what map would you like to play on, Mr. Dan? Um, do we get to what? Is it just any map? Yeah. yeah What's the map. the the maps? Well, okay. every single map in the game. Has well, a right. uh, has a version Paris. of this, don't it? Doesn't it? Does it um, or am I incorrect? Amari, can we get a confirmation? <laughs> uh, I thought there's the free for all maps, which is the chateau and the. No, just go chateau. Good classic one. <laughs> oh, that shit I'd say oh, the, the best the best one v one maps are definitely the ones that were designed for one v one because it's a perfectly balanced map. So if you want to decide who is truly oh. the best caster, I personally advise picking between the official 1v1 maps. But in saying that, you won the coin toss, and it is thusly your decision. Ooh. 4v4. <laughs> Chateau was cool. Chateau, yeah. yep. Uh, <laughs> Can we get the pick ban system? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Always sliding it in. I I I ban Moira. 
Where are you going? <laughs> That's no. You, you have to. You have to wait, get get that shit out of here, boys. Okay. What is going to happen is uh, you're gonna pick the game mode where it's just a random mirror matchup or something like that, or the random. Yeah. So you have a choice from three heroes that is pre predetermined. Yeah, it's preset. Mirrored. Yeah, that is a preset indeed. Fair enough. I have no idea. I don't do one v ones. It isn't deathmatch. That definitely isn't the game mode. <laughs> No pressure, moderator. There we go. Oh, fine. Yep. Yep. Mystery jewel. Sounds excellent. And now your map uh, pool may be limited. I'm not sure. That's fine. Look, I'm on uh, two teams. We should be good here. We have uh, Dan. Wait, we have Cardinals <laughs> consisting of Dan versus Dan consisting of uh, Abby. Abby isn't in the team yet, though. Currently going through the trial phase. Castillo? Yeah, that's fine. Sounds sounds good. Yeah. Castillo work. Excellent. All right, so can we get Abby into uh, Team Dan, please? Yeah. Get some ele ele elevator music playing. Uh, Abby, are you in yeah. there? Yeah, I'm Scrim Master. Yeah, Scrim Master. Yeah, it's, it's not a name that's indicative scrims. of Abby, is it? So. Yeah. Can I get my team name to be Koala Esports? Ripping my boys. <laughs> Poor Koala Esports. And they, led... Yeah. they led to an unfortunate fate, but... Cola Esports, that works. They have... I'll bring that one up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Ooh. that is it. Cola Esports, aka Abby versus Dandy, <laughs> aka Dan, going into the 1v1 tournament on Castillo is the map of choice by Dan. Was peer pressured a little bit into this map choice, but you know what? I'll take it. Fair. <laughs> it's fine. Take it. So we move into the match now. Let's oh. get it. Well, it. It's fine. It's fine. I win anyway. Ooh, you hear that comp? Let's go, boys. Oh, Let's no. go, dude. Let's right. go, dude. Oh. Dan? My boy, Bob. Oh. Oh, so no. the Ash v Ash probably won't build up to a Bob. I'd be very impressed if you managed to do it. That's some game breaking stuff. I feel like me casting this is going to lead to an advantage for either side. <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway. So. Both players opting for the high ground, a smart choice to be sure. Dan, using the shift to get that extra high, looking for the angle. And Abby, sneaking around. Dan has no idea where he is at the moment. Absolutely zero idea, and he's scared. You can see it in his movement. Terrifying. It's Abby, calm, collected, and waiting for his chance to strike. See? Yes. Both players looking up for it. It looks I'm like Scrim Master is dead. A beautifully executed use of the E skill. I don't know what it's called. So the E skill. Damn it. Dynamite, you mean? <laughs> Dynamite. That's Dynamite, the yeah. Oh, soldier. Yeah, boy. I got an up on this one. So Dan picking up the first round. It is a uh, first of five, unless the game has been edited. I'm definitely going to go ahead and say that Abby has the advantage in terms of positioning. But Dan looking to. Close the gap, and it is being closed, that's for sure. Now, the healing has been used by Dan, but he's not inside the biotic field. And he's, he's, he's running, he's out of there. He realizes he's on the back foot, but no, he's out in the open by himself. Has to run away. Really trying to juke Abby out here. Looking and seeing the name Screen Master and having to translate it to Abby takes up a lot of <laughs> mental processing. But Dan again! <laughs> 2-0 so far in this series, unfortunately. Abby, oh. taking the bait. Oh no, how do you Oh my boy, guy? I've been practicing this. I've been practicing. Let's go, dude. What does he do? Oh no, oh. hang on. Hang on, Oh, FPS drops. How do I jump? Oh, there we go. <laughs> right. So, Abby, only now coming out of spawn. But he's been practicing, I'm so this is his to scope. win. His to lose. 
you needed some healing. Uh oh. The uh the field of invulnerability has been dropped. Scream Master, Dan, dropping low. Abby has the healing available. Oh, yeah, boy! Boy, <laughs> <Straight up. laughs> him with his bare fists. That yeah, uh, that, is, that flex is comparable to that of Janitor's during the last match. Oh yes, please. So Dan now has one on the board. Oh, that's He's... one click. I th yep. I saw that hit marker. Uh oh. Oh right. no. Immediately returned by Dan, and in greater force. Now Scrim Master needs to not engage until he has dash up again, because that would be a foolish choice. Who oh, but he misses the dash! This? The deflect has already been used from Dan. This could be his time to strike, and it is. The damage is there, so if Scrim Master... Aye. Oh, yeah, 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 Abby, oh, plays safe. This, one. this is really his to win, and if he loses it, it'll be very yeah, embarrassing. Boy. He doesn't. He secures out the round, and is now 2-2 two to two to Abby. Fueled by his anger. Oh, yes. Bringing it back. The Tracer, wow. 1v1. Good Tracer skin. One of the most skill based characters in the 1v1 situation. And both players using their rewinds. And no! Jesus! A one clip by the Lutz. By Dan. Oh, a bit of a melee at the end. A a, oh, that's what got you. Oh. Sorry. That I'm constitutes good towards a, uh, a one Get ready for, for some airstrikes, boys. Let's go. Right, I'm trying to figure out my bones. There we go. Dan. In the air in the center of the map. Could take a while for these players to land a rocket, but as I say that, Caster's Curse, Dan. Picks up the first, and he only needs no! a second, and there it is! Scrim Master deciding that funneling into a narrow choke point is the best course of action. <laughs> uh, oh, bro. My girl. My girl. Let's go, boys. So, uh, Abby needs to keep in mind that this could be the last sun. Match point. Nah, nah, there's more. There's more. <laughs> is there more? Are you sure? There's always more. Oh, I, don't, I don't think there is. Uh, now it's gonna, gonna be a hard game. Oh, rolling oh, around and fucking. Oh, he's detected! Uh oh, Dan has the damage advantage, so now already 24 dam HP down. He now has to take this 1v1. It's not particularly fair, but there you have it. I mean, Dan executing these engagements a tiny bit better. Uh, Abby going for the hack. Uh, it does not prevent Dan from shooting, I can confirm. So, as he goes for these cheeky hacks, Dan is just building up more and more damage. And taking away more and more health from Abby. So Abby really getting the, the shit end of the stick in these engagements, in these trades. But I believe in the dream. He needs to win this round. And you can see now. Where's the fun in playing fair? Where's the fun in playing fair? <laughs> oh no! No! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, the hack is out, and that should just about be it. Oh. <laughs> Abby is down. Uh -oh. <laughs> he will go to the losers bracket, playing against Sty Rail. Oh no! Oh, oh yeah. Okay, Losing is the play, so you know, flex. Take the win so you can get them. Was that your first time playing uh, Baptiste? I'm just like, yo, let's That was it. mine, yep. I was just like, what do I do? <laughs> nah, yeah, I'll be was, practicing I was, him. Yeah, of, I was wondering why Dan didn't, uh, like, use his heal. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, interesting. I've uh, been playing him a lot. Um, trying to get some tips in for my team. <laughs> if we could return to lobby, that would be excellent. Yep. As much as I love the scenery of the, uh, the XP dark screen. Excellent. So, Dan secured himself for the grand final. Congratulations, Dan. Luxon. Yeah. Abby. Bam. Is in the loser's bracket. Not a position you want to be in. Okay, so, maps, we have Aethia, Black Forest, Castillo. Aethia. Yeah. What is that? I don't know how to spell it. I might be saying it wrong. Do you guys oh. trust me doing the coin flip? Do you trust my integrity? Yep. Uh, let's go for it. 
Oh, it's Ayutthaya. In his heads. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't even ask which one we wanted. <laughs> oh, okay. No, um, no, just you choose, you choose. All right, I, I, I choose heads again. Okay, well... Fuck yeah, heads, boys. <laughs> yeah. That's what uh-huh. I mean, like, you choose the map. <laughs> no, okay, fucking someone else do it then, you bastard. You choose the map, go ahead. Uh, I choose a uh, try-hard map, which is a uh, winter Antarctica map. I think oh, it's called wow. Antarctica. Because I'm a try-hard uh, what, map. It's watch point in Antarctica, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh eco point. Fuck. Eco point, you idiot. Jeez, oh. <laughs> get it right. I, yeah, I keep on. forgetting we're on stream. Man. Oh. Two. One. I'm going to put on my gaming glasses for this one, boys. The glasses. Right. Right. They're not actually gaming glasses. They're just regular glasses. <laughs> I'm putting them on. Racer. Oh. Actually, no. My eyes are better adjusted without them. Epitome of high skilled mechanic. Gameplay. I don't think I. I don't think I ever asked. Are you, are you like a DPS or a tank or support main? Because cool. I'm most certainly not. Trace jewel. Grimasa use recall first. Let's see if Starro can punish this. Chasing, chasing, <laughs> finishes. Beautiful. Oh. The tryhard pants are on, boys. We don't lose. We do not lose these. But yeah. Wait, are you like a tank man, support man, DPS? Uh, I mean, these days I'm a, I'm a nothing really. I play for a university team in which I'm DPS, but it's not a. I wouldn't oh. say it's a really serious team. Uh. Close. I thought I was protected. Oh. Yeah. All that Apex play. Big fan of the wingman, I'll tell you what. Whoa, oh. high skill cap no. camera, by the way. Yeah. yeah, you know what? I'd like to see some teleporter plays. Oh. Do some uh, good stuff here. There's my doing good stuff. Play. All right. No. Oh. Three to zero. Clean in the house, yeah. Battle. Genji. Oh, Ooh, I'm, I'm losing this boy. <laughs> I didn't even play him when he was popular. I still don't know how to play Genji, even though I've clocked like multiple hours on him. <laughs> Fuck. Please. Don't dash me, sir. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh fuck. I'm pretty sure I can get that. Never mind. Can't wall climb it? Nah. I'm a really good Genji. Look at this. Nice dash finish. Oh, try to dash in, dash out. Make it stylish for a finish there. Ooh. No, I, I didn't think about it. Otherwise, I would ghost dash. Oh, oh, yeah, boy. Uh oh. <laughs> Fight. Match. Oh, okay. this is peak competitive gaming when you see the Moira 1v1 come out. You'll see my true sweat come out in this one. Yeah, I see it coming out as yellow little crosses on both sides. Firehouse just uses his orb a little bit better, gotten a lot of value out of full orb. This is. This is fun. This is Moira. It's literally an oh, actually it's, is it? No, it's not. Yeah, Lock. Yeah. Oh. Oh. If you kept ADDing, I might not have got that. Yeah. GG's Abby. And Dandy is always a winner. <laughs> now we will move over very soon to the grand final. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, thank you for skipping that perfect. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I used to be a off tank player. Oh, okay. I I got into contenders uh, with Team Bin Chickens. I can't remember how many seasons ago now. 
That's but, uh, about was, two, three. Yeah, I was part of Bin Chickens, the team that went zero and twenty. <laughs> but I, uh, I left. I left that team after about the first eight losses. Wouldn't well, blame you. Okay. I quit Overwatch. So at, at least you didn't, you know, at least you didn't do a Shanghai Dragons. Yeah. Yeah. True. All right. Uh, I, uh, Euro? The map. Ayataya. That's the one. It's not, funny because like coin flipping for it. Throughout a bunch of maps with Ayataya, like um um patches, sorry, um they kept changing the way the like voice said it. From like Ayutayo to Ayutayo, Ayutayo, and, and it was just like. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Every patch was just different. I've completely forgotten that that was even a map. I'm like, wow, okay. That's still around. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't been on this map since I like joined a big old lobby of just Torp CTF. That's probably some of the yeah. most fun I've ever had playing Overwatch. Oh, oh, dude, I wish I was playing Brigitte. A UTA now. It's oh, now a UTA. Talk about a skill-based matchup. Hell oh. yeah. Zarya. Oh no. Is that a Spark v Spark? No. Nah. Do I see that correctly? That's a Spark v Winter Dawn. Oh, okay. I can't spectate it properly. What's going on? Oh no, never mind. Ooh. No, it's mid. Looking for those early damage. Keeping in mind. Sorry, you can't I could jump up. Shields. Apparently, you can't. Okay, can't move oh. there either. Someone's got us up hand. Oh, I, I thought that it finished me. to come back! <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I kept on walking into the corner like, I can't move there. Well, alright. <laughs> so you're just freely beaming me, I'm like, oh no. I, I tired, by the way. Good map. I bet we know it. Oh, th oh Ryan's coming out. What is this? Yeah, it's about who you get, get to... a Ryan. Did they change uh, Ryan's pin speed? I swear it used to be faster. I haven't checked the patch notes this time. Oh, they changed. They changed a lot of things. This patch. Um, boops are weird. No, we're well, not weird. They're more consistent. Oh, I should have gone for that. Oh, so I need to wait for our. Charge. I need to wait for our fire strike CDs to. Okay, never mind. Both You've charges this. down. Oh fuck! I missed the boys. Oh. Oh, get in the pin, get in the pin. No! Why is it tanks? I hate Simple tanks. <laughs> oh. Oh, Zen v Zen. This is a skilled matchup. Uh, we got yeah. one with the golden balls. Yeah, before I played off tank for uh, Ben Chickens, I played uh, off support. So flex support. So you just don't want to main anything? <laughs> no. Uh, well, if I'm, if I'm playing Overwatch for fun, I'd want to play a DPS. Yeah. But back when I was a tryhard sweaty boy. I, uh... Ooh. Ooh. Are you ready, boys? Are you ready? Charging of the right clicks, the dropping of the right clicks. Oh! You could what? actually drop down there? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, where? What? Huh? Oh, oh dude, remember yeah, CTF? Man. Remember CTF? How Lucio had to get nerfed directly in CTF because of it? Oh, yeah. Dan with the daily wall ride. Dude, my wall riding is garbage, actually. They're both on heal aura. Anyone get the uh, upper hand here? Or will it just be boop after boop until Dan dies? <laughs> Tyrell's just too good, man. Oh no. Oh, what is Ages? this? I learnt oh, after. NYXL. I Diva. learnt a trick ages ago in 1v1s that means that like you win Diva 1v1s 20 like all the time, but I can't remember what it is, so. Lucky. It's Pull like intricacies to the these. Yeah. It's because in RF land, uh, they have a 6v6 tournament, but they also have. 1v1? A, um, yeah, 1v1 tournament. Oh. 
combination of rockets and... Oh, Diva 1v1s are a bit different these days. Now with the, what, the DM being so weak. Oh, looks like Dan might be getting D-Make first. Can he get the D-Make on, Star -O? Yes, he can. He'll be first back into a mech if he can survive. <laughs> he doesn't! It's close. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's <laughs> always been. No, there. one, what the fuck? Did any of you guys notice the hero pull? Yeah, it was mainly tanks. <laughs> yeah. It was goats. It oh. was goats? Oh. I wanted, my plan was to boot oh. off the edge with that, but it didn't quite work. We can't even escape goats in 1v1s. That's a bad feeling. <laughs> And myself just a somber and trace a one trick. <laughs> There's wow. the goats team composition. I Ugh. even though you well, literally just said it, it didn't hit me until I saw that screen. Yeah. I'm well, like, what are you talking about goats? I guess it's time to uh, end the stream and thank the people and all Indeed. the teams that have uh, played throughout our round robin section yeah. of the tournament. Um, as of next week, we only have four teams competing, as we'll take the top from each bracket. Um, Do we know who those top teams are? exactly who they are, um, but I believe it'll be Vanquish from Group D, uh, LAX1 from um, Group C, uh, Riley's Rontons, if my score is correct, and Olympian yep. Odyssey. Hmm. Um, although I gotta do a double check on the Olympia Odyssey, as I'm not too sure what they got in the map win loss, which which will help determine whether or not we do a tiebreaker map. Easy. Um, well, it will be good games for the next a yeah. uh, few weeks, two weeks, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Last two weeks. We've got semi-finals and then finals. Excellent. Well, I'll. I'm excited, and I'll see you fellas there. Yep, yeah. see you next week, boys, in the PPE Community Cup, the best currently activated tournament in Australian Overwatch. Oh, the uh, world. Yes. Not just Australia. The world. The world. The it's only really Overwatch tournament League. where people aren't playing goats every game. Ignore the last <laughs> match with janitors in it, and that's effectively how it is. So see you next week, boys. We're going to end the stream there. Thank you for joining us.